Hey guys, Alex here. So I'm back from my epic Finland trip uh, to Helsinki. Huge trip, uh, 10 days away I think it was. Going over it was like 35 hours of traveling. Coming back I was further north. So it was four flights, an extra flight, 44 hours of traveling. Perfect chance to test this out. The Velky Human Charger. This is the O-ring app. So this is before I left, right? Like look at these sleep scores, 91, 85. 88. This readiness score is based on, um, once it focuses in, based on HRV, heart rate, or sleep, you know, activity. Look at these readiness scores 94%, 87, 80, 85. The reason I'm showing you this is I was, I am healthy, I don't stress the body too much, I'm getting a lot of sunlight, I sleep great. So, this is, a per, uh, is designed to help the body when we don't have perfect sleep, we don't have bright light, uh, when we are traveling, I realized that this actually is a good product, an amazing product, because it can help you get the things that I'm getting here in a no normal life. So in Helsinki, for instance, it was so dark, right? And then the sun would come up, like hardly come up, it'd be cloudy, so it's not a very bright day. There's just not much sun around. So using this, I could mimic the sun uh, without, you know, uh, while I was sitting inside or sitting on a plane. In previous trips, before I've had this device, even despite the bad sleep, when I got to the destination, I'd be exhausted, but you'd go to bed and you'd just be like, you know, your mind was racing, I just couldn't sleep. And so it was funny because I went to bed tired, exhausted, thinking I really hope I get to sleep, and I did. Like my sleep latency time in the Aura app was, was tiny, it was minuscule. What didn't happen though was I didn't stay asleep for an extended period, so I was waking about six hours later, uh, at about five o'clock. Coming home, I loaded my flight into TripIt. There was an app I set up the other day before I left. And now, it's really cool. I should have done it a few days before I left because what it does is it pulls in all that data and looks at where you're going and the time zone difference and then tells you when you should be using the app and everything prior to going. And then it's just giving you these reminders like when to use the, um, the device. See those little sunlight graphs there and then if you turn on notifications it just pop up it's human charger time the science behind it is really solid uh, so I'm gonna do a blog article looking at some of that science uh, while I was in Finland as well I spoke to some very smart people not related to the Valky company or the human charger company and they were saying oh that's a really good product like that the science behind it is solid like a lot, of, a lot of the locals use it so that was kind of reassuring learning that was good my personal experience is now I can, I've just shared them with you. Um, any questions, let me know. So I wanna show you a few of the things I brought back from Finland. Uh, some of these are health related, some of them are just things I brought back. When I had the sauna session with Tamo, uh, I had an organic bilberry uh, drink, juice, and it was really good. I bought some dried ones and uh, some powder. Uh, I brought back some reindeer, snack sticks, uh, some local chocolate, I got gifted this, I hope I can say this right, uh, Korska cup, I hope I said that right. Uh, and so these are a traditional cup, um, used in Finland, it's got a little bit of a reindeer bone, I think it is up top there. Thanks to the Aura guys, it's a very nice gift. I got some sweets and candles for my mom, uh, a, a tin of reindeer meat, so I brought that back for the family, we can, we can share it, maybe on Christmas day. Uh, definitely not health related, but um, some vodka, uh, the front berry on there. I had that for dinner one night while I was in uh, in Ulu, and they said there were cloud berries. I've never heard of them before. Uh, some gin. This is like regarded as like the best gin in the world. I'm not much of a gin drinker, gin drinker, but um, I figured I'd get it for our wedding day. And um, some soap. Got Finland in it in a box, which is for uh, give this to my family. Given it was their 100 years anniversary, they had lots of um, lots of little goodies and whatnot over there. And, and this is actually cool. There's some some neat stuff in there, so thought that'd be a good little gift. Uh, oh, and then the best thing I got. This is my favorite, and this is definitely not health related. And I'm probably going to lose a few vegetarian or vegan followers, but it's my uh, reindeer skin. And I got through customs, so I was so happy. It's so nice, it's like, it's so thick through here. So, 
I love like hides and skins and stuff so so that was some of my treasures if you're watching this on YouTube hit subscribe because I do a ton of reviews check out my vlog if you haven't my authentic Alex blog vlog uh, and you can see more about my life and you can even see how I'm using this on a day-to-day -day life follow me on Instagram Alex Vegas underscore coach I share a lot of little stories and insights into my day as well and um, that's all bye so I just got a parcel from Perfect Keto. For those of you who don't know anything about keto ketosis, I've got two articles on ketosis. One of them is uh, called Everything You Need to Know About Ketosis, and it's right there in depth. So check that out at alexvegas.com. Uh, yeah, I mean, personally, I don't eat a ketogenic diet, and I don't recommend it. On a long-term point of view, I think it can do a lot of damage. But saying that, once a week I fast. I do a 24-hour fast, usually one every Sunday. Not every week, but try to bring it in now and then. On that day, I will take some ketones. Uh, so, this is what I take. These are just exogenous ketones, peaches and cream flavor, beta hydroxybutyrate, uh, ketones in there, a little bit of magnesium and calcium. Um, so again, I'm not in ketosis. I don't take this every day. I just take it when I'm fasting as a bit of an energy pick me up. And then this, this is another perfect keto supplement. Uh, this is their pre-workout supplement. I really like this and this is something that I do take, uh, not every day, but every time I train. Caffeine is a great performance aid, um, so it it's, makes sense that it's in there, but sometimes I train quite late in the in the day, like 6, 7 o'clock at night, which isn't great. I mean, I shouldn't be training that late, so it does impact my sleep. So it is the green tea, it is derived from green tea, the caffeine in here, uh, so it's not super potent, and it is only 50 milligrams, which is probably about half a cup of coffee. I'll only take this if I'm training, you know, 3 or 4 o'clock, much later than that, I might take a half scoot. I'll be quite careful with it. I'll put some links and stuff in the notes below uh, so you can check out all these and do all that fun sort of stuff if you want to look into it. So Rebecca's going to make the dinner with the zucchini noodles. Story started. I'm going to make my uh, ginger beer. Looks good, huh? Zucchini, noodle, pesto, the chicken, ginger beer, Rebecca's organic wine, extra lemon, salt. Thank you, Rebecca. Good morning. So today is Sunday. At one o'clock today, we're going to look at another property up in Uranui. It looks like a pretty nice property in a nice house, but it's a little bit out of our budget. So, um, yeah, hard to get too excited about it. But anyway, that's us for the day. So we just remember the Sunday morning markets are on, so I'm going to pop down here first. Right, we're here at the Nara Myra Beach and um, the weather's just packing in. Like New Zealand. Anyway, first time here, so travel. This is upstairs looking at the property. Quite a remote, rugged sort of area. So there's definitely lots of space, lots of garage space. There's two double garages on the main house and then you have this shed here which is huge be a good spot for a gym a little shed down here oh this would be a little sheep sheep shed so 
We just got home from our little outing and of course it's a beautiful day and the sun's out here. So, so much for our beach swim. But uh, regarding the property, it's probably, probably not quite us. Rebecca didn't like a few things about it. And um, yeah, the price wasn't quite what we're after as well. So anyway, we will continue our search and continue waiting until we uh, find the right one. Hey guys, Alex here. So today I'm going to do another quick workout. I'm going to do another Neuromass workout, which uh, we do time under tension, explosive, and then isometric hold. I'm going to do chest, back, a leg, and then maybe some hamstrings. That's it. It's literally going to be a 20 minute workout. Let's get into it. I gave you all I own, put you on this golden throne, but I'm a little stronger now. You casting on my promises, you now for the fun part, the legs. I'm definitely out of shape. You get a lot of benefits just from that one session. Even if you're trying, not trying to be a bodybuilder or anything. So, that's why I come out and do these. Let me know what you think of this. Like, give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. I'm only getting some nice days here in New Zealand, so uh, I'm reading outside again. This week's book is uh, Built Built to Sell by John... I'm not going to say his last name. Anyway, um, this is another business book. I mean, I really like it because it's not like a typical textbook or a you know, how-to book. It's actually written like a novel. It's not full of facts and, and notes. It's, it's a story and, and of course people humans remember stories right so 2018 is going to be all about simplifying my work life my businesses um getting rid of some projects i have on the side um outsourcing delegating and selling selling businesses it's just a good book for anyone who wants to get into business because uh the story is something you'll remember for a long time and, and there'll be a lot you'll take away from it. Anyway, I highly recommend it if you're in the business space and uh, if anyone is interested in buying some businesses, make sure you reach out to me. All right guys, I uh, just got, heard the doorbell ring and I got a parcel, if it's what I think it is. It's a bunch of red lights. I've realized that you can actually make these or get them sourced yourself at a pretty reasonable price. So we've got the device, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 lights, I'm going to turn it on here, 3 of them are um, infrared, and then the remaining 9 are red. So the reason I got this, even though I've got my full juice panel, is uh, I can do other areas of my body while I'm doing the uh, juve panel. So now I can drop the panel down and just do, you know, my body and my balls with the uh, panel and then use this for one side of my mouth, the other side, head. Which is pretty cool, huh? And this was pretty cheap, but I did have to buy 10 of them. I got a few people, friends that wanted them. Um, I'll use some as gifts because we're coming into Christmas season and uh, I'll use one as well. But you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give one of these away to anyone, anyone in the world, wherever you are. Um, all you need to do is share this video, this vlog, either on YouTube or uh, share the YouTube listing or the, the uh, link on my site, alexfergus.com. Share this on Facebook and use the hashtag AuthenticAlex, all right, the name of my vlog. Just share that. I'll randomly pick one person and I'll send you one of these lights. And if you have no idea what this light is about, what I'll do is I'll include a red, uh, sorry, a link to the red light article in the show resources for this week's 
ep uh, episode. Go do that before the end of the year. I'll randomly pick a winner and um, I could be sending you one of these. <clears throat> so today's a big day. So why is it a big day? Who's heck out there? No, um, today Star Wars comes out. Rebecca and I go out for a, for a meal and then we'll go watch the movie. So that's tonight. I'd love to know these out other biohackers slash Star Wars fans out there. And uh, just, just comment in the comment box if you are. And we can like virtual high five each other. Anyway, I'm off to see Star Wars. Bye. Hey, so every week I make sure to have some liver, uh, some calf liver, cow's liver, grass fed. Um, and I also recommend my clients on the Hormone Reset program have liver as well. Unfortunately though, I don't really like the taste of liver. I've tried, I've tried all sorts of tricks and um, yeah, I just, I just really struggle with it. So what I do is I buy this powder. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the show notes or YouTube notes. I'm gonna show you how I do it because it makes getting your weekly liver hit so much easier. Tablespoon. I hope I've done this right. Add it to some water, but only a little bit of water. The idea is you want to make a paste. You can add a flavor masker. All right, so here I've got tart cherry, which is quite bitter. I've also got these peppermint uh, drops. So I'm gonna use the tart cherry here, which is good for sleep, melatonin by the way. Stir, and then if you're really not a fan of it, get another glass of water. Have that as your chaser. So that's it, there's my liver head for the week. Try it at home and let me know how you get on.